Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Brad Browning here. Um, you guys are watching my latest video on how to get back together with your ex. Now, if this is the first time you've, you've ever watched one of my videos, then welcome. And please visit breakupbrad.com for more tactics that you can use to win back your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. Now, today's video is inspired by a, by a question that I was asked in a recent comment on, on one of my other YouTube videos. And the question was from uh, John Paul 1311, I believe it was. Now, I don't, I don't think he's actually the, the Pope, sorry. Um, although I would be flattered if the Pope was watching my YouTube videos. Uh, but anyway, John Paul 1311 asks, Brad, I'm wondering whether you think it's ever a good idea to lie to your ex. Well, first of all, John Paul, um, great question. Unfortunately, no, though, there, there really is no easy answer to that question. Um, and I'm going to have to say, you know, it depends. Now, it depends on a lot of factors. Starting with your, your obviously your own beliefs and values. You know, if you're the type of person who operates on a, on a strict moral code and believes in, in honesty regardless of the situation, um, then no, you probably won't want to lie to your ex about anything. Um, you know, it's not like there's a need to lie to your ex in order to win them back. You, you could certainly stay true to your own morals um, and be honest and still get back together with him or her. And, and if you are like most people, then you, you try to probably be as honest as you can as often as possible. Um, but you may also understand that occasionally a small um, lie can kind of be helpful or, or even necessary in some certain situations. You know, sometimes if you're trying to get back together with your ex, a little bit of lying, um, you know, it may really be helpful um, to your cause. But before I explain that, let me just give you a quick disclaimer here, you know, disclaimer here, because I'm not advising that you lie. Um, I'm just simply pointing out that it can be useful sometimes, um, but you should definitely be careful not to go overboard or, or get caught lying by your ex. Now, I'm really talking more about white lies here. Um, as I'm sure you guys know, white lies are generally you know, considered fairly harmless, you know, insignificant lies that people use to avoid awkward situations or to avoid hurting someone's feelings. Now, to be honest, white lies are probably something that most of you watching this video you know, have already used many times in the past um, with your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Um, you know, do I look fat in this dress? Your ex might have asked you, you know, of course not. You look anorexic, maybe you answered, you know, um, even though you really didn't think it was that particularly flattering an outfit on your ex. Um, you know, or maybe you're just one of the, you get one of those family members in your, in your family who's, who's just terrible at giving gifts. So when Christmas rolls around, you know, Aunt Sally gives you another cheesy snow globe souvenir thing. Um, you might automatically say, I love it. Thanks so much. You know, and again, that is another white lie. So when and why would you actually want to lie to your ex? Let's just quickly look at a couple of scenarios where withholding the truth um, or telling a small white lie can be quite helpful. And number one is, is um, when your ex asks how you're doing since the breakup. Now, I'm sure a lot of you out there um, watching this video right now are still really upset about your breakup. And obviously you'd, you'd love to get a second chance with your ex. But let's say just hypothetically, you, you, know, you run into your ex tomorrow at the grocery store um, and you end up standing behind him or her in the checkout line. You're really just not gonna be able to avoid some kind of conversation in that situation. Um, and your ex might ask how you've been doing since the breakup. And in that case, you're gonna be faced with two options. One, you, you can be honest and just tell your ex that you're still feeling heartbroken and upset. Um, or you can lie and tell them that you're doing great and that you've used the breakup as you know, motivation to make some, some positive changes to your life. Now the former option, total, uh, total honesty, um, is obviously preferable from a moral perspective, but it's probably not gonna help you win back you know, your ex's heart, right? By telling your ex that you, you miss them and want them back, you're exposing weakness, basically. Uh, I mean, you're, and you're portraying low value traits. You know, it's, it's really not something that I would recommend. Um, if, you, if you aren't willing to lie in that situation, I'd advise you just to come up with sort of you know, a vague, wishy-washy answer that sort of deflects the question without really answering it. But if you're not morally opposed to a small white lie um, in that type of situation, um, then you'd probably ideally respond by saying something like, um, you know, I'm doing great, thanks. Been really busy with uh, the last week or two with, with meeting new people from work or so something like that, something along those lines. Um, because in this case, lying is actually gonna help your cause. You know, it, it shows your ex that you don't need them in order to be happy and to live an exciting life, you know, full of fun and success, right? And giving off that impression um, in this kind of situation is going to surprise your ex. And it's going to make them, you know, second guess and wonder whether they've made the, the right choice in letting such an awesome, exciting person um, walk out of their life. And the second time it might be useful um, to tell a lie is when your ex asks if you've been dating anyone. So, you know, what if your ex sends a message asking if you're dating somebody new? You know, what should you say in response? Well, first of all, it would be ideal if you, you actually were dating somebody new, even if it's just you know, casually to take your mind off, off the breakup and, and to put some pressure on your ex. 
But if you're not dating yet, you know, you might consider saying something like, um, I've seen a few other people, but nothing serious. Now again, granted, this, this may not be the actual truth, um, but no one's going to die because of, the, because of that kind of a lie. Um, and in fact, assuming you don't get into any further details after you say that, it's really going to help you create some, some mystery and intrigue um, and help change how your ex perceives you and thinks about you. All of a sudden, you know, in the eyes of your ex, you're going to be a hot commodity who's already been you know, on a few dates since the breakup, and that's definitely going to be a shock to your ex. Now, if you want to be completely honest, you know, and avoid lying altogether in a situation like that, then you could reply with something like, um, nah, I'm not ready to move on yet. But if you are fine with telling a white lie here, uh, then you can use the situation to your advantage by saying something like, um, you know, what I just said earlier, which is, you know, I've gone on a few dates, but it's been nothing serious. Something along those lines. And those are two situations where a small white lie can, can really help your cause. Um, but like I said earlier, I'm not going to tell you to lie, um, and or tell anyone to lie, because A, you know, I don't want to be the one who's making you do something that you're not morally okay with, and B, there is always a chance that, that lying to your ex is going to backfire, um, and it's going to make things worse. So on that note, you really do need to be careful um, if you're going to be dishonest at any point with your ex. You know, don't get caught having to make up you know, even more lies if you're, if you're pressed for more details on whatever you've lied about. Um, and I definitely don't recommend lying at all if there's a chance that your ex or that finding out will make your ex, you know, really angry or upset, right? So stick to white lies um, that won't be, you know, catastrophic deal breakers if you do end up getting caught telling a lie. And lastly, I mean, this is pretty obvious, I think, but only lie if it's, if it's actually going to be beneficial. You know, there's no point in becoming a, a pathological liar here, folks. Um, the only time it's worth doing is when you really stand to benefit from telling that kind of a white lie to your ex. Otherwise, just stick to the truth. Um, it's easier and there's, there's, no red, there's no risk of getting caught, you know, or having things backfire on you. All right, John Paul 1311, um, I hope that answers your question. Thank you for the comment, that was a great question. Um, and of course, to everyone watching, you know, please ask me your questions in the comments below. You know, I read them all and I respond personally um, as often as possible. So, you know, maybe you've got a situation with your ex where you're wondering how to respond or, or whether you should be truthful in that situation. Um, so if that's you, and if that's your case, then please just subscribe to my channel and ask your comments uh, below. I'll be happy to share my thoughts on your situation. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, good luck out there, and I'll talk to you soon.